Okay. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. Now this is a bit of a different setup as I have a clothing rack which normally lives in the corner over there. These clothes I've collected over the past few months as I've been going charity shopping a lot more, keeping my, my eyes peeled for nice clothes, nice bits of bob. So we'll start off with outerwear. Now I haven't been able to wear most of these things as I wanted to keep them new for this haul and then I can just chuck them in the wash and then wear them to college. Um, I'm hoping the camera angle and everything is okay. Okay, so we have an urban outfitters bag here and I bought a leather jacket in the student lock-in which if you don't know what that is it's a day where our shopping centre literally put on loads of sales mainly for students I went to Urban Outfitters and got a leather jacket which I've wanted for ages I've started wearing it this week and I absolutely love it it does smell a bit funky but I think with all faux leather it tends to do that and this has silver hardware. I got this in a size medium. I think that it fits nicely, although the arms are a bit short on me and it could do with a bit more of a tightness around the body um, because I find it to be a bit loose. Uh, but I couldn't find a size small in it, so yeah. Woo! This is a navy blue trench coat from charity shop. Originally this was from Primark. This is in a size 10. Quite an oversized polyester trench coat. It has the nice back detailing and it has a belt as well. So it really accommodates for that hourglass figure. Not that I have an hour hourglass figure. It makes it look a bit more nice. Um, I've only worn this once. I got quite warm from wearing this so I had to take it off. Some pockets which have um, a bag and a Kit Kat wrapper in. <laughs> okay, it's another jacket. I thought this would be a really nice formal jacket to wear. I have worn this to college one time actually, and it is from a charity shop as well. Most of these clothes are from charity shop stores. This was originally monsoon, and this is in a size 12, and it fits me really nicely. It's a really nice length as well. It's made really well, and the material's so nice. Literally, some of these things are still brand new. I don't know how people part with these things. I had sewn pockets, so my mum had to undo the pockets. It just looks really formal and also chic, and I really like it. It's really well made, and it was only £12 from the charity shop. This, oh my gosh, it's so cosy. This is a salt and pepper cardigan. You may have seen me wear this in a few vlogs. And I just throw this on when it's quite a chilly day. It just keeps me warm and it's snuggly and it's so nice. This is in a bigger size than I would normally get and this is in a size 16. But I was like, hey, it's salt and pepper. I love salt and pepper, um, that type of pattern. And it fits me really nicely. It's baggy, it's loose, it's comfy. It just, it's warm. I just feel at home <laughs> in a sense. And this was $3.99 I believe from the charity store originally part This is another coat slash jacket. This is very nice waterfall type coat. And again, this is salt and pepper, a little bit more warm tone. A button here, which I'm just gonna take off as it's quite loose and I don't really care for a button on this type of jacket as it can just sit and fall onto my body like a waterfall cardigan would. So this was originally next and, I, and it's in a size 12. It was 3 dollars in a charity shop. Always check out in a charity shop because they have amazing bargains all the time. These two shirts I'm going to include in the outerwear section as they're quite big and um, I'll just wear them over some tops and stuff like that. And this was 99 pence from a charity shop and originally this is a men's shirt. It's a really pretty pink colour. I don't know if you can see but it's quite a muted baby pink and it's so beautiful. Really nice shirt, just to chuck on um, a dress maybe. That would look really nice. Now this 
I am planning to wear with a dress. This is another oversized shirt. Nice blue toned khaki colour. It's really lightweight, quite a cool material, so it won't keep you warm, but it's just a nice lightweight layering piece. Originally hawk sheet, and this is in the large. Okay, onto one of my favourite ever pieces of clothing, striped top. There are two other tops as well, but my friends have to refrain me from buying any more striped tops. I'm a little bit obsessed, but they're just so nice to just chuck on with a pair of jeans and a pair of trainers and you're ready to go. They're fast free really, so that's why I really like them. And this is a stripy top and it's quite close in stripes. The stripes aren't spaced out as much and they're quite close together. Originally M&S, but I got it in charity shop for $1.49. This one was originally Zara and it's in size small. It fits me nicely again and it has a three quarter length sleeve. This time it has more of a bigger stripe of navy and a smaller stripe of white. And I got this for $1.99 charity shop again. And yeah, this one Heather spotted out for me, and it's just a stripy top, navy blue again. What have you done, navy blue and white? And this one was one twenty five in the charity store, originally Primark. So it's quite big that one. And lastly but not least, there is this shirt, fashion top type thing. It's quite a fitted type of top and it's made of this stretchy material. Um, it's quite formal and it's kind of, it's quite a strange pattern. Uh, it's black and white. My sister thinks it's animalistic. I think it's a love it or hate it type of thing. But I think it's quite a good one where if I'm going for a job interview or something like that, because I'm at that age now where I can get like a proper job. And yeah, it'd be nice for things like that or any formal events that I need to wear something formal. Okay, so this is a white top and it's quite crinkled because I haven't ironed it. And this is originally Primark, size 12. It's quite a lightweight material and it's quite see-through. So I'd wear some type of top underneath or like a bralette. And this would be nice tucked into a pair of jeans, giving that casual look. Okay, so these items I'm reluctant to wear nowadays. I don't know what it is, but I don't feel nice in the dress anymore, I don't feel comfortable in the dress anymore, but I'm gonna try it again at some point. But I found some really nice ones in the charity shop, and this is a nice fitted three quarter length sleeve skater dress, originally HM, but I got it for $3.99, and it's quite short on me in a way. Um, it's above the knee, about two inches, but I can wear thick tights with it and knee high boots or whatever. Um, and it's got quite a low scoop neck, which I quite like because it's really flattering in that area. Um, yeah, so this is in size small, so I guess that's why it's quite short on me. This is a bodycon type dress and it's grey, it's a really nice dark grey colour, so it's quite flattering, again with the navy as well. Dark colours are super flattering and make you look slightly thinner. This has contrast sleeve, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a midi length, it's quite fitted as well and originally it's Topshop in a size 10. This is the dress that I would pair with the khaki shirt. So this um, tied over the dress would look really nice. I've paired them two before and I was just trying both of them on together and I thought it would look nice. And there we have this jumpsuit, originally Primark, or oh, it comes with a belt as well, so it cinches in at the waist, it looks really flattering because it has this low cut V and I don't really like the sleeves, I wish the sleeves were a bit more longer, um, I mean I can adjust it I guess by snipping it off, I don't know if you can see properly on the camera, um, but it fits really nicely, it's quite baggy as well, so it's quite comfy to wear. And I might sport this in college actually. I don't, I don't know if I want to save it for an event or something. Now this looks kind of funky on the hanger, but I don't really like these IKEA hangers because they run out of the boomerang ones with the clips in the end. So I have to pick these up, but anyway. This is a bodycon black midi skirt, originally Primark, and I got it for $1.99. And it has this slit here, which makes it quite a, oh, I don't know, Sensual type of skirt. 
and um, I think it would be nice for parties and nights out with friends and things like that. Yeah, it's really fitting. It makes me look really curvy. I don't think I have good curves in any sort of way, but it's a really nice skirt and it's really comfy as well. And then we have these. These are Topshop Jamie jeans and they are in the dark blue colour. I really love Jamie jeans and that's the only pair of jeans I'll get I think forever and I have worn these quite a bit. Every time I wear them though someone asks me where my jeans are from or if I'm wearing new jeans and I'm not. <laughs> They're the same jeans. These are in the size waist 28 and the length 32. These ones, I don't know how they're different, but I'm wearing black Jamie jeans at the moment. These sit on my belly button, whereas these sit above my belly button, which I really like, because I have quite a long torso compared to my legs, so high-waisted jeans don't normally appear to be high. These are in a 32 leg as well, but they're longer on me, whereas these, they're short on my legs. Don't know how, but I really like them anyway, and they're really nice and super comfy. Oh, I forgot to do the other dresses, the dresses. Okay, so in Zara, I got this long bodycon dress, and it's ribs, which I really like because it's like super comfy, and it has short sleeves. It's really nice, and it's really flattering, and it just sucks in all, all the right places. It was $15.99 in Zara. And lastly, I got from Zara this dress, which Jyoti also has. She also has it in the grey, stripy one as well. And this is a nice skatery type of flowy dress with short sleeves. And it's in a navy colour. This is in a size medium, and this was $12.95. And it's really nice for what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I'm, I'm going to wear that though. So, scarves! Okay, got these two nice scarves from the charity shop. This was originally from the Thai Rack, but in the charity shop, 149 It's a really beautiful camel colour and it's made of 100% wool, so it's going to be really good and well made. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's a bit itchy though. <laughs> but it feels really luxurious and good quality. So I know I'm gonna get a little use of this in the winter. Finally, we have this super soft scarf, which is, so this is 100% cashmere. It's super, super, super soft. And it's gonna be awesome for this weather just to keep my neck warm and super cozy. It's gonna be so nice. <laughs> so that's it for my haul. Um, I know I did get quite a lot of stuff, but altogether it's quite collective, mainly from the charity shop, so I got it at good prices. Now I get to wash everything and wear them, and woo! <laughs> I've been waiting for ages to do this video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't bore you in any way. I'm sorry if I did. Bye! Thank you for watching.